Hello. So the Startup Station is dedicated to helping you put together financials for your early stage venture. And uh, yet I'm sure you have heard from many investors that they don't look at financials, right? Which begs the question, then why am I teaching something that is not useful? So in this video, I'd like to clarify the matter and I'd like to explain why the financials of revenue companies are so often ignored. And by the way, it's not because investors don't want to look at financials, because financials provide a very robust framework of evaluating whether a venture is financially feasible, right? As well as providing a plan against which a company can execute and measure, which is very important, the effectiveness of its strategy, right? So why would they just choose to ignore that if they have this information available? Well, the reason is very simple, right? Because if the financials are not put together properly, they really provide no information that can answer any of the uh, questions that I've just raised. It can be used to evaluate the financial feasibility of your business. It can be used to measure the effectiveness of your strategy. It doesn't reflect your plan. Okay, and so like then this is just noise, right? And when you want to make an investment, you want to eliminate all the noise and really focus on things that matter. Your business plan will change, right? You are launching a product before really testing the market, before really understanding what's going to work and what's not going to work. And so what you really need to understand is when you should change your course. And in order to do that, you need to set certain parameters that will measure your performance. And if you're not hitting the targets that you're supposed to hit, it's a signal for you to step back and reevaluate what you're doing. And this is one of the main um, uh, purposes of the financial model, is to provide you with those signals, provide you with a framework that can help you evaluate which parts of your strategy are working or not. And the better framework you put together, the more prepared you're going to be for making your company successful in whatever final shape or form, as obviously your company goes through a transformation process. So that's why you want to make sure that your financial model properly reflects exactly what you're going to do. Right? So you cannot make numbers that are hard-coded because guess what? Hard-coded numbers don't tell you what you're going to do. You need to go and tie the inputs that drive the financial model to your strategy, to your actions, and really think, okay, what are the underlying inputs and how I can estimate them in terms of their initial values so that I can create this initial plan and use it as a yardstick to figure out how my company is doing. As your um, situation changes and you want to alter your strategy, guess what? A financial model can help you evaluate which strategic decision is better, right? Just like it helps you put together the initial plan, it also helps you modify a plan and it keeps you disciplined, right? And all of these activities, by the way, give comfort to the investor that you're going to be diligent in terms of running your business and you're not just going to follow wild, uh, wild goose uh, after another, right? And embark on a wild goose chase. Because what you want to do is to create a successful business and to grow your company into a successful venture. So to learn how to evaluate the financial feasibility of various business models, please take class number two. And for more information, go to www.thestartupstation.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.